So welcome to the health tech video. Uh, after last video I reposted it's almost 24 days or 25 days. In this period a lot of users want to know the detail about this mesh pocket our new product because in the last video we are not talked really clearly for the details function about the product. That's the reason why we have Aaron today. He's the health tech chef leader, the engineering part. So introduce yourself. Uh, uh, hello everyone. Uh, sorry in advance for my poor English. Yeah, it's okay. So as the engineer, the chef leader of here, what is the mesh testing meaning for you? Because we have a lot of products related to the mesh pocket, mesh testing, and uh, it's also popular in the whole world, like the V3 and T114. So what is the meaning? Mesh testing is what meaning for you? Uh, do you know walkie talkie? Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, it's voice communication, right? Uh, but for mesh plastic, it's text communication and able to share or dress with each other. Mm -hmm. It has better low power features and a smaller size, more like a portable device. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to open your app and connect with a mesh plastic device and uh, with few steps config. Mm -hmm. Then you can use it. Your, your phone uses Bluetooth exchange data with, with the, this device. Yeah. And the mesh, mesh plastic device will encrypt the message and send out via LoRa to active long distance communication. Okay. For example, if you are in the place where you don't have LTE or Wi-Fi network cover, the mesh plastic can provide one more choice to build a temporary communication mm -hmm. network. So that means if there got a disaster like an earthquake or tsunami, I can just uh, directly to talk with someone who carry another mesh pocket, right? Yes, yes. More than that, uh, for example, if you and me you have a long distance, mm -hmm. uh, you single can reach me directly. But be between us, there have some other teammates also have mesh plastic uh, devices. Uh, your single will hope one by one and reach to me to act the longer distance. So the devices, the mesh task devices will build a mesh network automatically to act a longer and big group communication. So that is the mesh group chat. Uh, and I have not taken, we have the screen in our mesh pocket project. So is that can show me the, the message from others? or is there uh, um, any other feature? Of course, it's an ink display for uh, mesh plastic. Uh, and the system version is mesh plastic 2.6. Compared with the previous 2.5, there have many updates. And the 2.6 is quite new firmware version I just released in February this year. Mm -hmm. And here I have prepared one uh, previous 2.5 version device. Uh, you can see the display only shows some basic information and uh, only have flip page function in the bottom. Uh, now let's look at the new version 2.6. Uh, it already have many messages uh, shown in the display. By long press yes user button, you can access the config menu. Many options can be set. Or you can change the layout in that manual one. Yes, yes. And I think Mesh Pocket is the first plug and play device with Mesh Plastic 2.6 uh, assembly. I really like this version. Okay, yeah, I'm also like the, this version, especially for the 2.6. So after we talk about the Mesh Plastic as the user, because it's eventually it's a power bank. As a user, I more prefer to know some detail about the charge part. Yes, it has two charge functions, wireless and a wired charge. I will begin with uh, wireless charging. It's very simple. When it's attached on the back of your phone, it will work mm -hmm. automatically. Yeah. 
Uh, the but if your phone don't have a wireless charging function, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you can use it. The you can use the Type C port as a ordinary power bank to telephone. Just connect. To, it. The, yeah, connect your phone and uh, working normally. And at the same time, the wireless charging and wired and wireless charging can working at the same time. Yeah. It's benefit who have the Android phones and the iPhone active phones. So, and when you do the wireless part, I've noticed, especially for, I've showed everybody, there's a sign. Sign is showing this Qi2. So, what is Qi2? For me, the biggest update of Qi2 is, is it has clearly specified the uh, position of magnetic array. It includes a magnetic cycle and a magnetic tile. When it slaps onto the back of the phone, the, the charging coil aligns perfectly every time. But if your phone comes with a case like this, mm -hmm. it only has a magnetic cycle but no tile. When the mesh block is attached onto this, it will swing. So when you choosing a phone case, we recommend you choose like this one, have a magnetic cycle and a magnetic tile. It will work perfectly and very stable and strong. Like stick. You can just stick in the yeah. iPhone. Yeah, yeah. So I have noticed they got the two bottom of here is showing the RST and the USR. The other side is like the CTRL. What's that mean? Like when I press it, anything can show me? Uh, yeah. These two buttons are for mesh plastic. The RST means reset. It's mm -hmm. used to, to wake up the uh, mesh plastic system okay. or reset the mesh plastic system. Oh. And uh, the user key is used to flip screen and the long press to access the option menu. You can set something inside it. In the, in the menu. Okay. And the control button, oh, uh, it's sure. used for power banks function control. Yeah. Uh, if. Like the, you can turn, turn on or turn off by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, for long distance transportation, we have set it in sleep mode. When you, uh, so when you unpacking this and use this as first time, it may not uh, automatically begin the wireless charging. So you can single click, this will enable the wireless charging. Yeah. But if you are want to stop the wireless charging, just double click this button. Okay, but this time the wire charging is still working. Okay. Okay, and long press this button to turn off our charging function. Okay. Yes. So they got two long press and the press twice. Different. And the single. Oh, single. Oh, okay. Like right. a single single press is wake up. So why you add this feature? Uh, we hear the feedback from our customer because some of our customer from mesh plastic group. They hope this device working as a mesh node only. Oh, do you only want to use mesh plastic to take this other like the power bank you want? Maybe they they will use it when they need it. Okay. Okay. Love it. Uh, and I've no take like the our mesh pocket compared with others communication device, especially the walkie-talkie. The biggest difference. Where is that I think? Oh yeah. Like what's that? Did you notice this part? So that is a. Yeah, yeah, like it's inside a, and short like this. Yes, it's a LDS antenna inside this. Mm -hmm. When this product was firstly released, some people asked if an external antenna will achieve the perfect riding performance. That's true, and if in that way, the structure design will be much more easy for us. Indeed, at the beginning, when we designed this product. We already considered about this idea, but finally we gave up. Just consider about this situation. When you need to use it, first you will take it out from your pocket and mm -hmm. then connect an antenna. Yeah. That's a trouble for me. I think I will be the one always ask, where is my antenna? So finally, we optimized the uh, uh, LDS antenna, integrated into, uh, into the device, make it more convenient to use. Mesh plastic is currently more popular among some technical and professional group like how it has its access barrier. Mm -hmm. 
but it's off-grid communication features really useful and the solar problems in many situations. So we hope to make a compilation device that can bring mesh plastic to people's daily life. It will a lot with the pocket space. People pay for it, like by an ordinary portable electronic device, but mesh plastic emergency communication system will be there when we need it. Mm -hmm. So after you describe all the details things about this product, I feel for you, not just for you, even those who create the mesh plastic with technologies, people, maker, they want to bring this technology to the normal people's life. But that's a little bit hard for the civilian who not take the academic technology for the home radio. But right now we have this mesh pocket product that can connect with the uh, the mesh plastic into the people's life, like a daily electronic device. They can use it as they want. Yes, right? yes. So, um, I believe this mesh pocket product is really good, but it's not perfect product. Is it have any disadvantage? Yeah, mm -hmm. one thing, uh, when the wireless charging is working, uh, the current of the coil are uh, really large, which will generate uh, great radio noise, which will affect the LoRa uh, communication work. Uh, so if you want to achieve the maximum communication distance, you may need to suspend the uh, wireless charging while the mesh plastic communication is working. Mm -hmm. And there is one more thing, if the operation current of your device is mm -hmm. more than 50 mA, uh, the Type-C port will stop, uh, stop output power. But why? Uh, that's because the charging management, uh, that's because the wired charging management chip has enabled the low current detection. Uh, when the charging current is less than 50 mA, the device will recognize the charged device has fully charged. Mm -hmm. So for uh, security and the life battery reasons uh, it will stop provide power out anymore well i've used a lot of power bank in the market this look like they got same situation with like you talk uh no for ordinary usage and if your uh charge device use your phone that's okay but uh but if you use mesh task uh, but if you use uh, mesh pocket as a power source of some low power uh, IoT devices such as uh, T114 and the NOR32, the working current is less than 50 mA. Oh. So if you use this device to power them, they will not working. So if you want to make them working, you just need to connect an uh, antenna. Oh. No, 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 no. You just, you just need to uh, connect a battery inside the okay. ZVL working normally. Okay, I get it. So, I appreciate Aaron for this feedback. According to the lab user's feedback, he is really talk, really detailed stuff and uh, to solve all the questions about the mesh pocket, this product. And thank you very much. And I believe we're going to be launch and post more and more video to this channel if you want it to wait for the next one. So let's talk about the next video uh, the subject. Uh, uh, mm, this weekend we will have five days long holiday. Yeah. Uh, I, I went back to my hometown and uh, uh, tested the communication distance on the some mountain. Okay, that's Sounds like interesting. So I think that's all the videos about. If you like the own product, you go to our website to check it. The link will be below here. And also we have created some community about the uh, health tech. It's also like a Discord, Twitter, TikTok, also in the link beside of it. Don't forget to like the subscribe us. I think that's all. I will see you next time. Uh. Why
It's so worthy. That's how they go down on Of course. Of course. Of course, it's a it's an ink display for mesh plastic. Why? 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 As you guys can see, we have built so many times. After three days, we finally to finish this whole long video. But and here, I still want to do apologize for you guys. Two things. First, is that our content and the video quality maybe yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not good enough compared with others professional YouTuber. But we're still trying to do this, we need the time to grow up. Second is that our English is not fluency or some part maybe the word not correctly because our first language is not English, it's Chinese. We will keep keep the shooting and keep posting no matter for the short video or the medium or long video. And in the future I'm pretty sure, pretty sure they've got more and more products and the technology and the, even the content of life I will share to the social media platform. So don't forget to subscribe us and thank you all. I will see you in the next video. Yeah, next video maybe it's me again. So <laughs> see ya!